Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. When we last left off, we were going to do this puzzle. Yes, a complex mechanism. Luckily, uh, it's not actually that complicated. So, I did write down the correct... Uh, do hickey here somewhere. Right. So, nope, 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 nope. Right. We want silver. I think it's gold, red, and black. There we go. Yay, unlock the door. Excellent. Yeah, that's actually quite easy because, I mean, the tip for that puzzle is plainly written down. Uh, ooh. A plasma cannon. What the fuck? A plasma cannon? And a charm of saving? And it's a percentage weapon. Dude. Weapon designed by Jeremy Morton that functions with gas cartridges shoots a flame of highly luminous plasma at extremely high temperatures. Whoa. Uh. Right. I need to see how this thing operates. So we're going to do the same thing that we did with the Countdown Vampire. We're going to give it a save. Ooh. It's a flamethrower, basically. And it does create light. You do seem to get a good amount of juice with the boy as well. It doesn't have a huge range. But it's got enough. Okay, so we've got a freaking plasma cannon. Uh, not really sure... Well, that's going to be best used for. Bosses. Ooh, hello. Bosses, maybe? Bosses das. Metallic half ring. Okay. Ooh, med kit. Don't mind if I do. Single first aid kit. That will do nicely. Uh, well, I mean, this kind of looks obviously like it's going to break open or something. But, okay, right. So we've got a locked door. And we've got a way going up by the look of things. Right. Anything else? I mean, I feel greedy asking for anything else, considering we've just picked up a freaking plasma cannon. Door is locked. Okay. What was that half thing that we've a uh, metallic half ring uh examine right we literally have no idea what that is cool right let's go upstairs and see if we can have a little squiz up here although i don't think Ooh. this is carnby boy am i happy to hear your voice where are you i've reached the circle of stones i know it's an abkhani's cult place I even know the steps to follow. You know everything that happened to me since I nearly died while landing on the island. Well, I feel like my entire vision of the world and life, all my ideas, my convictions, everything shattered. Were you able to see Obed Morton? Yes. I think he's totally lost his mind. I get the feeling you never got an answer to your questions. Oh, I did. He can't be my father. I suppose I already knew. What got you thinking he was in the first place? Johnson did. He showed me a picture of Obed Morton and my mother. The dates coincided. I really wonder what he wanted by sending us out here. Anyhow, if he really wanted to get rid of us, he could have done a better job. I know better ways of doing that. Whatever. If we survive this, I'm telling you he's going to have some explaining to do. But in the meantime, I have this incantation I need to recite facing a specific direction. 
It seems the Stellas bear inscriptions. And according to the papers I was able to go over, there must be some sort of planetarium on the fort, something that has to do with the circle of stones. I think that's just where I am now. Well, perfect. Contact me as soon as you find something, okay? Okay. Over. Hmm. So I wonder who her father actually is then. Right, so this is a planetarium apparently. Uh, so I'm guessing they're up Kansas. Oh shit. Right, so we need a date. Um, uh, we haven't had a proper full date yet, have we? Not that I know of. So we're going to come back to that. So I guess we have their symbols for north, east, south and west. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, progress is progress, I guess. Now, oh. They're all locked. Oh. Something. Something was flashing. It's that. Yeah, there's something in there. Uh, right. Yep, something's flashing behind that door. Uh, I'm going to save state it because I'm going to try something. Uh, let's try burning it with this, maybe. No, it's not going to be right because... No, because we can't actually aim it when we fire. Anyway, uh, okay. You, oh, you unlock the door. Okay, where does this lead? Right. I see. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Unless we do have everything we need. Look for anything red. Diagram. Ah, right. Let's have a look at this diagram. So. Hang on. Uh, so do we have to put power source into the coupling? Right. Hang on, let's try something here. Uh, right, objects, power source, combine. Right, okay, so we have to combine this in a certain order. And then we have to combine that. No. It's, no. Ah, oh, fuck. Right, so, uh, that's really freaking cool. Um, so there's two pieces, right, so we, yeah, okay, so we've used everything that we can. And there's th three things that need to go into that machine. Right. Okay. I mean, that's something at least. Sheet of paper. Right. We can't do anything with that. Or that. Nope. 
we not have any dates? We saw him complete the incantation at the Circle of Stones face it right. Uh, I guess we could tr I guess we could try some of these dates but I don't think that makes sense Yeah, that's our letter. Fifteenth birthday, that's no good. Uh, I'm sure we did have a book here somewhere that had an important date written on it. Because it stuck out in red. Uh, by creating the Morton Oil Company March 23, 1889. See, that's important. Let's try that. March 23. Okay, yeah, let's try that. Maybe that's what it is. I knew there was a date in there somewhere. But I've got a feeling there might be more than one. It's very hard to run up these stairs as well. A lot harder than you'd think it right, was it? March. Now is this America and this is a... Oh. This is American. This American? Let's try eighteen eighty nine, I think it was. Uh Wait, is that that was it? Was it, wasn't it? Because we can like add more, more stuff in. Had to check something. I thought I did that. Hang on, I need to write this. Uh, hmm. Right. Uh, I mean, technically, March. Oh, hang on, I did it wrong anyway, because March is the third month. So the fact that it says March first, let's try o three twenty three nineteen eighty nine. Let's try that. Uh, so March is actually a third month. Uh, twenty three.
Okay, so that seems to do stuff regardless of what you do. Uh, right. Um... Let's try Pardon radio. Me. I think I found something for you. I discovered a series really? of iconic symbols that correspond to various orientations. And I'm standing in front of a control board that must be what operates the planetarium. But I can only punch numbers in. Each of the stellas in this circle of stones indicates a cardinal point. Maybe your orientations have something to do with how the stellas are positioned. What's the first one? I think it's north. Wait, there's an inscription at the top of the north stella. One mark. Okay, one mark. And... On the southeast, Stella? Not the so fuck fast. does one mark me? Okay, I'm there. This Stella has no inscription at all. I think I'm starting to understand. Go to the west, Stella. West, Stella? Three marks. Southwest, Stella? Okay. One mark. There's more. Stay with me now. East, Stella. East, Stella. Two marks. What now? And if I said northwest? I'd answer... I'd answer... nothing. Southeast, Stella. Are you sure? I mean, I've already done that one. Just trust me. Okay, okay. Nothing, of course. And last of all, Southwest Stella. Southwest Stella, one mark. Perfect. I gotta think about this. I'll get back to you. Hey, hold on. I didn't do all this just so... So, Mr. Witch Doctor, how about that ritual? Okay, I know, I know. I'll trust you. Uh, what? that make any sense to anybody? Uh... Right, Cambius reached the stone circle. He must recite some kind of... But he does not know in which direction he believes. I will find the answer in the planetarium. Oh, found Obed, but he pretends he never had any children. I bet if his sick. Uh, right. Hmm. Right. Okay, guys. I. I was curious about this. Carnby, I've nearly managed to put Jeremy's perforator back together, but the barrel's missing. I don't understand. I need the perforator to get to the gate, but I read that this piece is very fragile. It often breaks and has to be cast in a single piece. So Jeremy must have set up a way to produce the pieces quickly. And you're going to tell me, seek and you will find. You took the words right out of my mouth. So only now am I experimenting with this. Carnby? Oh, okay. So I guess you could only use that at X points in the game. Alright, um, I bet we've missed some interesting conversations because I didn't, I didn't even think about that. I just thought, oh, contraption, let's throw them in. Right, I'm going to pause this and <laughs> watch that again and try and go over everything and see if it makes a lick of sense. <sighs> One second, guys. So I actually think I've worked this out. If we go back through and watch that footage again, you does actually give you a um a date which i believe is actually the date for the game it's 10 3 1 2000 and 1 now when he says mark because he says one mark i'm guessing mark means zero and uh, I did confirm this with a guide as well. So actually listening back to it did make a little bit of sense. Uh, but just to confirm it, I did cross-reference it with a guide. So no bullshit, I did look this up. But having said that, it's fairly straightforward. You just had to listen to it a couple of times. Anyway, let's hit the shit switch and see what happens. Uh, yep. 
That definitely didn't happen before. Planets or stars or something are aligning. Oh, they're actually aligning in space as well. Our solar system is coming into alignment. Apparently. Elite. Interesting. Have you come up with anything? Because I'm freezing my nuts off out here. <laughs> I, I think so. Wait. Your indications correspond to a date. To today. What? I think I'm starting to get it. The date of the ritual, the opening of the gate, the statues. Let me enter today's date into the planetarium control board. Just did. <laughs> it's incredible. The planets are lining up towards the east. It's like you've been doing this all your life. I'll perform the ritual and then get back to you. Carnby, be careful. Now that's a luxury I think we can't afford. Over. Wait, he's going to perform... Ooh. He's going to perform the ritual? Ooh. And that looks like a statue. Okay. A statue in a ring, by the look of things. Right, let's have a little fondle around. Hmm. Where was that? Ah. Okay. Large bronze key. Nice. A seal. Small rusty key. Ah, and the Abkansas statue representing a snake. Interesting. Okay, so small padlock key. That's got to be for the padlock on the roof, which actually looked like quite a large padlock. A small grey metal padlock key. Seems recent. A large bronze key. A wooden Abkansas statue of a snake skull okay so we now have uh th oh look thought they had numbers on them but they're not they're those uh symbols okay that makes sense now examine am right okay uh now one of these keys oh I guess one of these keys is going to open the door. Door is locked. So I can't think of many doors that we have left that are actually locked. Okay, cool. That's fine. Ooh. Box of grenades. Where are we now then? Okay, we're directly outside. Ooh. Ah, oh, this... Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. This is where we saw the... Aline, it's Carnby. So, Mr. Witch Doctor, Thingy. how about that ritual? Yeah, you won't be laughing when I tell you I recovered a statue and some kind of stone disc. A nice. disc that's about ten inches wide? That's right. I need it. We absolutely have to meet right away. Okay, I'll head for the fort. You come towards me. Gotcha. Hey, that seems reasonable. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, yep, yep. Not fighting any of this bullshit. Although, you know what might be good against these things? Uh, oh, doesn't look like we can even, like, aim at them, which is ass. Ah, oh, shit in hell. Should we try this flamethrower? Uh, eh, I mean, eh, it's. It's 
not great. I think we'll stick with the shotgun for now. Wow, we have 72 grenades. We have 72 grenades. Okay, so we've got to go back to Carnby. Where was he? Uh, well, we should be able to exit down here. Yeah. We should be able to exit out. So he's going to head towards us. I mean, failing everything. We can just go up now. Uh, and to use the padlock key, I guess, which is probably what we're going to have to do. But let's go see if we can actually... Can we phone him? Carnby? No. Of course we can't. That would be too easy. And I'm hoping that we actually can go back and meet him. Otherwise, we're going to waste a shit ton of time. Going all the frickin' way back for no reason. Uh, that's it. Through here. Not seeing Carnby. Oh, shit. Jesus. Okay. That genuinely made me jump. Jesus. Okay. Right. I'm hoping... He's actually going to be here. Otherwise, we've just set bloody Mr. Morton off for no reason. I don't really want to be setting Mr. Morton off for no reason. Although, apparently he's not attacking us. Which is nice. Hey, there he is. I'm warning you. I won't hesitate to shoot. You know who it is. Carnby? the daylights out of me sorry do i detect a regret stop kidding i have the impression that all this is getting us nowhere i found nothing but scraps of information pieces of a puzzle that don't fit together like the seal the seal show me not so fast do you have the stone disc oh, i appreciate your confidence <laughs> sorry but i've learned to be suspicious of everything whether you like it or not we're partners we don't have time to waste. Okay, then, if talking to me is such a waste of time... That's not what I meant. But it is what you said. Here's the seal. Give me the stone disc. I need it. You take the stone e seal. Okay, but I want to tell you that I really admire your courage. And only my courage? We'll see about the rest some other time. <coughs> Go on. Good luck. You too, Carl. Well, it's not as cheesy as Resident Evil, so I guess it wins some points for that. Uh, so what did he give us? He gave us a stone seal. Um, oh, right. So we need to go put that in the statue. The stat- ooh. Oh, cool. She actually goes all the way back there herself. <laughs> Thanks, game. <laughs> I actually really like that. Right, we've put our statues and things down as well. Ooh, luminescent stone. Oh, right. Carnby, I have three statues. Me too. And I hope Edenshaw has the seventh one. We have to go meet him at the gate. I think everything's about to unfold right now. But nice. how do I get there? According to Alan's diary, there's a passageway that starts in the fort. Carnby, you're so helpful that sometimes I have the feeling I couldn't do without you. Aline, let's stop wasting more time. Aw, she's getting all flirtatious. 
Right. Uh, so we have. Uh, the energy stone. It's a magical a canvas stone. It shines with unreal light. Uh, so I'm guessing. Ah, right. Unless that machine. That's what powers the machine, maybe. So let's go. I mean, that makes sense, right? Needs to make sense to me. Oh bloody hell! Uh, really don't. Fuck's sake! Really don't want to fight anything in here. It's just a waste of time. Uh, so we need to get out of here. Uh. Where did that one go? Ah, nice. Right, now we need to just... Right, yeah, hop over. Wait, was it a hop over there? No, we need to go to the workshop, don't we? Which was... Back upstairs, I believe. Yes, yeah, we need to go back to the workshop. Okay, cool. And I have no idea how long I've been recording for, so that's the problem. Getting the feeling we're pretty close to the end of this chapter anyway. Well, not this chapter, this this playthrough with Eileen here. Uh, now. Um... No, I think we've got to go upstairs, haven't we? Got to go upstairs again. Okay, that was kind of like a strange transition there. I was expecting all hell to break loose. Looks like we're going to finally witness the opening of the gate. What's actually really cool about this, um, which is something that Resident Evil kind of failed with, well, Resident Evil 2 especially, um, yeah, I think we're out of time, actually. What I like is your partner character, uh, in our case, Kambi, is actually doing stuff. You know, actually feels like he's progressing with his own little adventure. He's not just, you know... Um, he's not just like a couple of voice dialogues. He's actually giving you items and giving you help to solve your puzzles and you're helping him with his stuff. I actually like the synergy there. It's really interesting and really good. And a lot of games don't do it, including a lot of modern games. So I'm going to give this game mad props for that. Anyway, when we come back, guys, we are going to put some shit together, I guess. So till then, guys, thanks for watching.